hello everyone um, welcome to another video from drug delivery lab regarding the um, intro to a paper which we've just published and i have with me um, dr avijit goswami and dr avijit uh, has been a postdoc in my lab and now is working as a scientist in a company so hello avijit how are you hello chitan i'm doing good uh, how about you i'm doing well as well so uh, let me sort of ask you about uh, this paper um, and that you are a co-first author on um so uh, i see you have uh, published a paper on uh, using omv um, and using some materials to uh, use it as a tb vaccine so uh, what was the motivation of this paper why why do you think uh, it has some relevance yeah so basically uh, mtb or mycobacterium tuberculosis so far whatever vaccines are there uh, are quite restricted to pediatric uh, Uh, components and uh, mostly the ad- adults are not really quite uh, effective uh, in getting benefits out of those vaccines so there have been tri- trials of using several other antigens that can be used uh, as vaccines uh, in that context we we, we try to use a, a different component of the bacteria itself which is called the outer membrane vesicles and these are kind of uh, packets of uh, proteins of different antigens be it lipids uh, proteins uh, dna which kind of uh, give it a lot of uh, variability as an antigen presentation and that's how it can be uh, used uh, uh, to develop uh, vaccines uh, against this particular proteins or cocktails or biomolecules that are present in the omvs uh, oh. Cool, cool. So, um, but again, OMV approaches have been tried by others. Uh, so, what uh, what do you think is the novelty in this publication? Yeah. So, so the major uh, major novelty in this uh, this uh, publication is basically to use uh, a different uh, particle, which is in this case gold nanoparticles, uh, to kind of uh, coat it, uh, coat the OMVs on top of these gold nanoparticles, which kind of gives them a a uh, homogeneity based on their sizes and also increases the stability of the omvs the major concerns with uh, the so far ongoing studies are the stability and the homogeneity of this omvs uh, are not that great so it tends to uh, aggregate over a period of time and the stability is not good so in that way uh, coating on top of uh, this gold nanoparticles kind of creates a homogeneous uh, a particle sizes which can then be uh, 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 treated and then be used uh, for the treatment. Cool, cool, and um, of course uh, we sort of got very exciting results uh, while using these, um, so it's exciting. Um, uh, another question I had, Vijit. So um, while these results are great, uh, what do you think are the future challenges uh, in developing this uh, further, and um, what would you think would be the next steps uh, that we should take? yeah so so future challenges is basically when you when you uh, kind of isolate this omvs from the bacteria itself the 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 growth and this then the then the isolation of this uh, omvs from a huge culture is is a is a bit of a challenging part and then then you need to pass it through several filters just to ensure that you have a quite a homogeneous uh, population of this omvs and there's no crossover of any other protein components which are not packed in the in the omv as such so in that context uh, the major challenge is to isolate these omvs but then uh, once you I- isolate these omvs they come up, kind of comes up with a with a with a cocktail of biomolecules as i said earlier which can be then used for several different purposes so uh, as future approaches i think uh, one aspect would definitely be we have seen a lot of mass spec data where even wherein we could isolate uh, various key uh, seven eight uh, proteins which are kind of enriched in the membranes uh, we, we believe these are membrane proteins in nature so evaluating those those proteins as such and then using them for the future uh, uh, development of these vaccines and then also using the coating mechanism would be something that would uh, give a lot of stability and then also create a homogeneous mixture uh, to ensure that the vaccine uh, development is kind of well achieved 
Great. So, uh, looks like a lot of things to do. Uh, so, anyways, thanks a lot for uh, spending your time to talk to us, and and we look forward to more exciting research on this and other topics.